treatment of lung, of lung cancer, be it non-small cell lung cancer or small cell lung cancer, depends on the stage of the disease. The stage means what is the extent of the disease? Where has it spread to? For non-small cell lung cancer, really the questions are, what is the size of the primary cancer? Has it spread to the localized lymph nodes, which we uh, call the hilar lymph nodes? These are lymph nodes inside the lung. Or has it spread to the middle part of the chest or the mediastinal lymph nodes? Or has it spread outside of those areas? If, if the cancer is contained, stay uh, localized, uh, and, and is in, uh, contained only in the lung and not involved in the lymph nodes, uh, it is an early stage cancer. If it's involving lymph nodes that are more extensive or in the middle part of the chest, it's what we call a locally advanced uh, lung cancer. And if it's spread to other places, that, that is an advanced lung cancer. Now, staging uh, can happen in a few different ways. So when a, when a, a patient is diagnosed with lung cancer from a biopsy, uh, the first question we, of course, always have is, where is the, what is the extent of the disease? Uh, and this, this uh, evaluation is accomplished by a couple of different ways. First, uh, through imaging, and that can happen through CAT scans or through a PET scan. Uh, typically, we want to understand, is the lung cancer localized in the lymph nodes? Has it spread to uh, other parts of the body? And the PET scan is very useful in that uh, staging process to understand that. Has it spread to the bones, to the liver, to the adrenal glands? Uh, a second important scan uh, is an, an MRI scan of the brain. Lung cancers can spread to the brain, uh, and uh, a PET scan is not very good at imaging the brain. An MRI uh, is much better and, and much more sensitive at imaging the brain. So for somebody who is newly diagnosed with lung cancer, those are, those are two important uh, uh, scans to understand and, and to obtain. If both of those are negative and, and there's no evidence of the cancer spreading uh, outside of the lungs, uh, and, and the potential exists for surgical operation of the, of, of the tumor, oftentimes the surgeons will do a surgical staging procedure called a mediastinoscopy, where they make a small incision at the base of the neck and, 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 and remove many of the lymph nodes in the middle part of the chest. And then these are submitted for pathologic examination to be able to determine is there involvement of any of these lymph nodes by cancer? Even if the PET scan sometimes is negative, uh, they are still uh, uh, often, uh, often performed and evaluated. Together with the scans and the surgical staging of the mediastinum or surgical evaluation of the mediastinum, a, a, a stage can be then uh, identified, which will then uh, subsequently dictate what is the treatment uh, uh, paradigm for that individual. Will that be surgery alone? Will it be surgery and involvement of uh, additional therapy afterwards? Or has the cancer spread to areas outside the lung uh, and, and, and that person will be treated uh, with uh, uh, systemic therapy at that point, chemotherapy, targeted therapy, or immune therapy? For small cell lung cancer, the staging is a little bit different because this is not a disease that is typically treated by surgery. It's a disease treated by chemotherapy and radiation. And it's really divided into two uh, sub-segments, limited stage small cell lung cancer and extensive stage small cell lung cancer. Uh, and the limited stage disease is defined as a cancer that is contained in the chest uh, or contained in the chest in, within a reasonable radiation port. Uh, since limited stage small cell lung cancer is treated with chemotherapy and radiation, it's important to, at the time of the initial evaluation, to have an opinion also from a radiation oncologist because that will dictate whether disease can uh, be uh, uh, treated with a combination of chemotherapy and radiation. If the cancer is spread to the other lung or outside the chest, then it's, then it's uh, typically considered extensive stage small cell lung cancer, where, again, that dictates the treatment in a different direction, uh, which would be uh, chemotherapy alone. Non-small cell lung cancer stages range from one to four. These are typical stages for any cancer. There's a unified staging system for all cancers. Stage one cancer being the earliest cancer, one that we would operate on. Stage two cancer would also be operated on. Stage three cancers are ones that are the locally advanced cancers where there's often involvement of the lymph nodes in the middle part of the chest. And then stage four cancers would be cancers where the tumor has spread outside the chest.